Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. You, you, you see him? So sometime I'm Ubering back and it's late. I got left at the 60s neighborhood. Didn't nobody know me. I'm hearing niggas say, say, cuz, who, who, who is homie there, cuz? Oh, that's Skull, partner. Man, where's Skull at? But he knew who he left me with. I don't know. Wow. But I trust him because he's been kind of father figure, uncle-like to me while I'm in California. Nigga, I don't know nobody. But I'm entrenched in street culture. So I got to learn this shit, homie. This is the shit niggas where I'm from and killed and died for. And I'm on Hoover Street. I get to walk down Hoover Street. I get to go to Grape Street. I get to go to all these different places that niggas from my city will never go to. So, nigga, I got to come back here and teach these niggas. Say, homie, fuck that Crip and Blood shit, nigga. That's them nigga shit. You can't go up there and claim that shit. Them niggas will kill you up there talking about what you, where you from, nigga. Leave them niggas shit alone. That's California game. So what I did, I always sat California over here. Mm-hmm. I never, because they, the, they the originals Original. and the founders. So I never spoke on them. Nigga, I learned that from him. Everything past them is emulating and imitating. They really faking. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling everybody back in my town, nigga, fuck that cripping blood shit, nigga. Fuck you crowd bad nigga. I'm getting big on the internet. California niggas hearing this language, me talk to these local crips. Wow. Nigga, I went to the funeral trying to figure out, man, what the f- fuck everybody crazy about this Nipsey Hustle nigga for? Nigga, he ain't played on our songs down here. So I'm watching my city, Dallas, Fort Worth, throw this celebration for this Nipsey guy. Oh, yes, sir. I want to say to, 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 to Dallas, man, this is, this is beautiful when we can come out and show love. I was busy saying I'm a killer. Playing no games with you niggas. Pop plus, switch lanes on you niggas. And nigga, we got niggas do what he do here. Fuck we celebrating that nigga for. So Melvin say, hey, man, I'm going to the funeral. You want to go? So, nigga, I go to the funeral trying to figure out who the fuck is Nipsey Hussle and why this nigga being celebrated. So when I'm at the funeral, they smoking weed. They playing his, his album, which is cussing, bitch, this, fuck this. So, nigga, I'm fucked up. This ain't Southern shit. Yeah, we no, don't do man, this is a dead body. But because I'm with the Rolling Sixties, I get to sit counter to the family. So I'm looking at all these motherfuckers smoke weed, include myself, smoking weed in this motherfucker, because this we don't do this down south. Mm-hmm. Weed are for Nipsey. I start listening to them people speak of Irmis. My son, Irmis Joseph Askedom, was a great man. The mother, the father, the girlfriend, the little boy. The little boy said, last night, Irmis came to me in a dream. On the night of April 2nd, I had a dream. I was in a paradise. (laughs) I was in paradise and I was playing in the ocean water. When Air, when Aramis popped up right behind me, he said, what up, killer? Because that's my nickname to him. I turned around and I yelled his name and I gave him a hug. It blew me away. I put the weed out. Wow. No, nah, man. And when we walk by, I'm looking at the family. They mourning Aramis. We bullshitting for Nipsey. Wow. So I can easily say fuck that character. So I get I get left in the in the in the sixties neighborhood, nigga. This is a melee. Can't nobody get through. The Uber can't get through. Nothing. I'm there to like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, homie. How the fuck I'm gonna get back home? And I I can't say this, but Skull left a bag. Say Skull, Skull tell me get the bag. Them niggas ain't gonna let me get that bag. They got that bag and took it to Skull. Wow. But I'm still there with the 60s. So this big old nigga right here can barely walk, ankles bad, knees bad, look mean in the motherfucker. Say, say, uh, big homie, you think you can give me a ride to the house? Big sight. He ain't said 
two words and all day long. Yeah, I'll give you a ride. Where you at? So I tell him where I'm at. That's a danger zone. So as we riding home, school tell me, I remember when Nip was about 11 years old, he came up to me and said, big homie, can I ask you something? And he said, yeah. Why you gangbang? He said, this is what the 11-year-old, 12-year-old kid asked him. That ain't Nip, that's Irmis, just an inquisitive kid. I got that from the funeral. He was very inquisitive. So he tell him I gangbang because I was born to. Say, big homie, when I grow up, I'm going to take care of the hood. That was Irmis had that desire. Nip didn't do that. Nip was a gang banging rolling 60 that a killer, eight tray gangster crip that a shoot a hoover. Wow. So wow. I don't honor the characters. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.